Okay, so I've been playing around with my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, which is an older Raspberry Pi with only a gig of RAM from 2018. But actually performance has been pretty good. This one you can see is a different color. This is a Brazilian Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, uh, but it is the same as the green one that was released in the UK. I've got a couple of videos on it where I installed Linux and also Android 10. And in this video, I've got Recall Box on an SD card, and as you can see, it's lovely and snappy, very responsive. And I've also got RetroPi on a USB stick. The reason I'm using both is because I got better performance on PlayStation Portable and Dreamcast through Recall Box. So let's try PlayStation Portable first. And I've got 4x4 Jam, which is a PlayStation mini game, but still very good. It doesn't run at full speed and the sound occasionally is a bit crackly. I haven't been able to get into the PlayStation Portable settings on this, but it is still enjoyable. It's a great game. Uh, it was based on uh, well, Insane, which was the PC version of this back in the day. And uh, yeah, it's really enjoyable. Oh, where's the next gate? Straight ahead. So yeah, pretty good. Let's try something else. Little Big Planet. There's some really cool bits to this, the, the way that the, the environment interacts with you. And even when there's quite a lot going on on screen, it still seems nice and responsive. And I'm sure this didn't used to run brilliantly on a Pi 4 at one point. But as you can see from this, it, it just seems to be coping with it really nicely. Very impressive. So let's go back and we'll try a bit of Sega Dreamcast. See loads and loads of systems. They do, with Recallbox, they put like a token game on for each system. Uh, well, a few on Commodore 64. So Dreamcast and a bit of Zombie Revenge. This is a great game. It's a cool intro. A little bit broken up on the graphics, but it still works Are fine. Are still following this guy? But the controls are really good. It's really quite claustrophobic how close you are to everything. But, oh, there's a machine gun. Machine gun. Check this out. <laughs> no problem. Oh. Don't mind an old Rails game sometimes. Something's here. Check this out. Now Dave Mirror works on this, but unfortunately it runs way too quick. The video plays fine, it is an old game so it's meant to look like that. And this is the best version of this original Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX. BMX 2 was better, but uh, this is the best version on the Dreamcast. It was the latest one I think. So it's a shame that it runs too fast and you can tell by the clock basically that it's running way too well. Also by the way it looks as well. But it does work and it looks really nice. So the graphics are really decent on it. And every now and then it seems to run at the right speed, but most of the time it's just way, way too fast. But Tony Hawk's is absolutely fine. Let's just jump straight into a game. I still think this looks decent. And it's running at the right speed, which is nice after the Dave Mirror. Everything's very responsive. Uh, it was playing the music just now, but obviously I can't play the music. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Such a great game. And last up, let's try a bit of Metropolis Street Racer. The intro looks pretty good on this. The audio is a bit crackly. Yeah, nice, that feels fine. Looks like a tight corner coming up. <laughs> Tighter than I thought. Yeah, Dreamcast has some really nice looking games considering the age of the system. Under the port section we've got a few games which already come installed in Recallbox and one of them is Quake. And this looks pretty decent. You can see it's nice and smooth. Is there not anybody else here? Yes, that's very, very fast. 
I would, I would reckon I could up the resolution a bit on that as well. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, dog. Oh, I should be shooting the, I should be shooting the uh, radioactive thing. Okay. Yeah, but that's definitely working fine. Right, so I'm going to quit this and boot up with RetroPie to show you something a little different as well. So shut down. And that was on an SD card, but this RetroPie is on a USB stick. And I've also got all of my ROMs on a separate 128 SD card, which is this one, a little USB reader. So this means that anytime I boot up RetroPie on whatever system, it will apply all the ROMs that are on there and the BIOS and everything else. It's really handy. So let's switch off and switch on again. And RetroPie boots up from the USB stick. I've been really impressed with the USB boot on the Pi 3B. It's been very straightforward. Just write the image to the USB stick and it just boots. And we're into the RetroPie menu and it's going to just detect all of the different ROMs that are put on there. And you can see there's loads of systems. And we can flick through all those again nice and quick. Much more simple interface on this. I've added loads more systems to this. Some obviously are a step too far. Uh, so something like Sega Saturn. I've tried a few different settings on this and I can't get it to run well. So you can hear the audio is pretty bad. And so we're going to the RetroArch menu. I wonder if I've got any options on here. Yeah, I could turn on frame skip. So clearly this is going to be a step too far, but let's see if we can rev the car. Okay, well it's moving, but it's not giving the 18 FPS that it says it is, so we'll quit out of that. So this is Toy Story 2 on N64, which does work. Maybe we can get it a bit better with frame skip. So let's try this with its default settings. So you can see my laser guns working. And it's all right. I'd say it's still playable. And if we want to jump up, Oh, and then spin around. It is cool. Well, let's try and turn on frame skip. Let's get up here out of the way. And. Oh, okay, so my frame skip button, although it worked in Saturn, it won't let me quit out of N64. Okay, never mind. But as you can see, it's not that bad. Road rash. For some reason left trigger is accelerate, but I'll take it. This looks okay. I have turned off it on FPS, but it doesn't seem to be showing. Oh, he's got a club look. Can't seem to knock anybody off their bike, but yeah, this is a cool game. Used to love the Mega Drive version. Although this is obviously better than that. There you go, so not full speed, but working. Oh, and let's do a bit of the acceleration. Is it this one? No, it's not that one, that was great. See the wheelie? Oh. <laughs> Didn't sound like the right voice for the person on the bike. There you go, so road rash. Makes me want to play it on a more powerful system because I really do like this. So this is Quake 3 Arena in the port section. So let's just pick one and fight. Major. So this looks great. Really looks impressive. The 3D is amazing on it. And it's lovely and fast. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I thought you'd come around the corner then. Oh. Yeah, this definitely works fine. Is he going to come through there? No. Quite like a better gun, actually, or a different gun. Although this one is good for distance. What's this one?
<laughs> that's more that's more like it. It's pretty instant on that one. Yeah, that that is great. Isn't, isn't it funny how certain things this looks amazing and also plays amazingly well, so obviously very well designed. Oh, where did he come from? They kind of come out and then disappear. Rocket launcher. This. Oh. I literally went through and installed everything I could find. As you can see here from this big list. Obviously not everything's gonna work. And let's show some arcade. So Bomb Jack is one of my favorite arcade games. Very simple, but really nice to play. So select to put a couple of coins in and press start. Oh, okay, digital pad, not, not the analog stick. It is quite a hard game though. Come on. Oh, he's got it. So some of the, some of these simpler games are still enjoyable to play. Oh, I was pressed the button a bit too soon then. Try a bit of Sunset Riders. So again, super old game, so really, really easy to play. And these bits are cool with the cattle. So Thousand Mile Rally isn't running, but if I try another emulator, so when it's booting up, Press B and we'll select, well let's try FB Neo, yeah that's fixed it. This is nice when you've got a proper steering wheel, like in the arcade, oh, yeah no problem with that, that's lovely and fast. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I need to go through some of the sets that I've got and try and get some things that look a bit a bit more modern. Okay. Oh, this looks cool as well, yeah, I like this one. So Track and Field Arcade is brilliant and uh, the A and B buttons are X and A and B is Jump, which is not the best setup. I'd rather it was on the outside, but let's give it a go anyway. So let's put some coins in. So I'm going to try and use my nail because that seems to be quite slow. So I'm going to put my nail in between the two and go as fast as I can. Oh, there's no jump in this because it's just 100 meters. Oh, just. This game needs to be in every pub still. Everybody would play it. A long jump, we want to get around about 45 degrees. Oh, perfect. But not perfect enough. Three, four, five, five, eighty-five, look. Oh, 38. Well, I might do it though. Oh, he's there, qualified. Oh, 51. Did I, I'm not sure if that was over the line though. If it is, I've got oh, first in the world. So now, hurdles is it? Oh yeah, 110 hurdles it says it. Oh, terrible. Oh, I can't get the speed at all. Oh, I think I'm there though. Oh, he's there still. Is that not qualified? Oh, it's game over though. It is such a great game though. Definitely worth a try. 
So I've been really surprised at what has, I mean, obviously that was going to run anyway, but uh, Quake 3 ran really well and Dreamcast was surprisingly good. Obviously loads of older systems are going to run. I tried to concentrate on some of the things that were going to be harder to run. But let me know what you've got running, if you've got a Pi 3B Plus or what you use it for. I'm still impressed with mine. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.